like a zombie. Where I got to breathe. In the room and stuff. Hi guys, it's Genshin Kenshin here. Thank you guys for coming back and watching another video. Today we're going to be talking about some interesting stuff. Actually, I'm going to be talking about the theory that I was talking about before in my last video that I wanted to go ahead and put into this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So what I was thinking about was very simple and I'll make it very fast for you guys so that you guys can digest everything and understand everything and understand my little nuances on everything. I know this is not going to be a perfect theory or a perfect solution for the left or the right. It's going to be kind of in the middle. There's going to be some stuff that people hate. There's going to be some stuff that people like. So yeah, abortion, not the best topic to talk about, especially in this algorithm, but we're going to be talking about it. Pro-choice, right? Uh, you know, live your life, have the right to your own body, your body, your choice, or we have the other side, which is just, you have to keep the baby. You have to do that thing. You can't not do that thing. You can't go out and do all the other stuff. It's the uh, pro-life side of the equation. So I think the solution would help people to at least kind of move forward or at least take a step or something i like i said before i spent a few hours thinking about this and i really thought about it it's actually more than four to five hours i said that because i got the majority of my kind of solution down in four to five hours and i remember this solution particularly well because i was like 18 and I was in retail and I was just thinking, I was really thinking about, okay, so this is what the right says. This is what the left says. I agree more with the left, but how can we make the right kind of happy as well? How could we find a middle ground? Because right now we're like battling and it's either the left or the right. And if one side gets it, the other side is really mad and angry and pissed off. And if the other side gets it, then the other side is mad and angry and pissed off. So I was thinking that maybe let's say, okay, the first solution would be to keep the baby. Let's say, let's keep the baby. So you can't have the abortion. That sucks. It's really bad. But... What you can have is um, an extra $30,000 from the government to help you start off with your baby if you choose to keep that baby. Now, you would get that $30,000, $10,000 every year for the first three years of the baby's life. You have to keep the baby for 10 years, but you get $30,000 within the first three years to help keep you at a head start above everything else. It's going to help you out with all of the bills and stuff like that. You'll also be able to, if you don't have any medical insurance, they will take care of all of that. They'll take care of everything, the cost of the actual hospital. Now, you would be able to work and actually use that 30000 on whatever you really wanted to. And yeah, there's going to be people who's like, ah, man, this is a cash grab. You know, you're just going to have a lot of people abusing the system. But yeah you're forcing people to have a baby there needs to be some type of equal effect and even thirty thousand dollars isn't an equal effect because what if that person had gotten raped or something and they are now forced to keep that baby thirty thousand dollars isn't really going to change that or help that person out or get rid of that and that person will still have to keep that baby for the next 10 years to even benefit from that 30,000 within the first three years. And it's probably going to be gone by the age of 10 anyway. So really it's not a equal side thing. It's, it's actually more in favor of the right than it is the left. And as for the people who don't actually want to have the babies uh, and just want to be sterile and stuff like that, let's say that those people actually get $15,000 and they are able to become sterile. So those women who don't want to have babies, but want to be sterile and, you know, want to not have to give the baby up for adoption or go through that $30,000 thing with the baby in the 10 years, 
let's say that those people, okay, I don't want to have a baby. I don't want to do that. I don't want to give anything up for adoption. I want to be sterile. Cool. You get $15,000 and you get your sterile thing paid off for. And you don't have to worry about buying it or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it. You just go into the clinic. They will sterilize you. You get a check for $15,000. Boom, bam, bada bing, you're done. And that will be a more easier solution because it's going to be one, one for one, it's going to be less problems with ladies being old enough to actually get this money in the first place and also being old enough to actually get this procedure done in the first place because sometimes you you go into a clinic can you stop can you stop it'll make it easier for these women to go into these clinics get the procedure without having to face discrimination or anything like that and it's just going to make it way easier for people way easier for people and um it's also going to give those people some money for having to go through something like that anyway because let's say that the person they want to be sterile right now but maybe in 10 years they actually change their minds they can't switch off that decision it's done it, whatever that they went through let's say they got their uterus removed or something like that or their tubes tied that might not work out for them if they're trying to get it reversed, right? So they need to be compensated for that. And since we're doing such a definitive thing right now and we're leaning towards this right side, right centric type of train of thought, we need to give them proper compensation. So that is why the $15,000 exists in the first place. It's supposed to be a thing of you don't really have a choice, but you do have a choice to do this and you'll get paid for it if you do want to do this. And it's not going to be equal again, because you're not actually having a choice on it. It's more like if I don't do this and I have a baby, I literally have to either give it up for adoption and get no money, or I have to do this whole thing with the $30,000 and keep them for 10 years. But you'll probably keep them for the 18 years fully anyway. And the other solution, which is more on the favor of the left than the right, will be, okay, we get rid of the baby, but let's uh, get rid of some of those taxes for you guys on the right. Let's say um, you guys don't use a whole lot of your taxes to help me and my family. Um, maybe there's a about a, what, a billion dollar deficit in that area try to help you guys out or something i don't know i know you guys really like keeping your money away from taxes so <laughs> i'm trying to help you guys keep your tax money okay um how that would work i'm not sure i i i'm honestly i have not really thought too much about the right and <laughs> how you guys are going to benefit too much from this because you guys complain about this all the time it's you have to have the baby but then you also complain about the taxes so you know, you can't have both. You can't have somebody who has a baby, but then you're like, oh, actually, your your Medicaid and your Medicare and your food stamps, I don't like any of that stuff. I don't like the WIC program. I don't like any of this stuff. You know, it's just not a whole lot of money for me, and I have to give it to these families that just have babies all the time. It's like, come on, stop having babies. Be more responsible, da-da-da-da-da. You, you're asking too much of people. You guys really need to have a discussion with everybody, just talking about it. The people who want this pro-life stuff, you guys have to talk to the other people who want to keep their taxes. And you guys have to figure something out because you can't have, you can't keep your taxes. And well, you can't keep a majority of your taxes from these government aid programs and also force people to have babies, you know? It just doesn't equate. So you guys on the right, think about it. You guys on the left, tell me if you guys like this type of solution. Uh, probably is a bad solution in all honesty. I mean, I'm, I made it up in about four to five hours. I think that it's a start, you know? I think that there should be more people talking. I, I don't see anybody going out and saying, okay, well, I've heard both sides. Let's do something 
that's like in the middle or something or try to figure out something for both sides that you know can kind of help or progress this thing because it's been this way it's been a literal line in the sand nothing has changed nothing has progressed in this it's either been one huge tug on the left or the one huge tug on the right it hasn't been any like okay can we like try to not have knives at each other's throats for like five seconds uh, if you guys like this solution like this type of content please hit the like button if you guys dislike this video please share it to one of your most hated enemies maybe they will like it as always this has been Genshin Kenshin thank you guys for watching and peace